and some of us didn't think we were going to have the call today, but we didn't say we were going to cancel it. So we're open up to hear uh, from our coach. As you all know, every Monday morning we bring some wonderful tips that helps you to put some tools in your toolbox and you go out there and share the great things that's happened in 10 and grow your business and just change your life and have a better future set up for you. So the line is open. Go right ahead, family. Introduce yourself where are you calling this? Is this is Sharon Dennis calling from Detroit, Michigan. All right, Sharon. How are you this morning? <laughs> representing Detroit. Yes, I'm on your call every day, but it's so crowded. I don't say anything, but today I have an opportunity to tell you how wonderful your call is and that I'm here with you. I got your back, baby. Oh, bless you, girl. Thank you for that, Sharon. And it was good mm-hmm. to see you at the big event. You've been at every big event since you've been in the company, haven't you? That's right. Like I said, I'm in it to win it. <laughs> yes, you are. And you're going to be winning that car pretty soon, too, aren't you, Sharon? Yes, I'm working on it very hard. I want that Tesla. I've been in love with the Tesla for two years. Oh, wow. So I know you were really excited when you heard that Mel and Amy made the Tesla one of our choices. <laughs> yes, I was. <laughs> Everyone called me because they knew about it. <laughs> well, look at that. See there? You didn't even know. See there? <laughs> yes, yes. Only thing I can say, girl, just a matter of months is yours. You'll be riding yes, down and I'm working it. I'm happy for you. Well, Sam, you're a good one. Paul Jackson, Fairman Heights, Maryland. Big things happen at the big event. Yes, you can do. Don't say Mr. Jackson. Big things yes, happen at big yes, events. Yes, ma'am. Big things happen at the big event. Yes, sir. Good to have you here this morning. Thank you. Come on, Sam. Who else is with us this morning? Go right ahead and introduce yourself. Kiana Pittsburgh. Hi, Kiana. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing good. Good to have you this morning. Thank you. <laughs> Keep it coming. Family host is with us. Go right ahead and introduce yourself. Marilla Southern Bell, still sharing. <laughs> hey, Second Bird. How are you? I am doing well, thank you. And you? I am doing fantastic. I'm telling you. These brave people are really running around looking for them. Hey, are you all going to get your flyers, your posters, your stickers, your emails, your Facebook, your social media? You better let folks know that you have them because people are literally in search of these brave. Oh, yes. They are. Yes, it's, ma'am, they are. They want you to get the vision. That's right. That's right. They got it. They see it. Well, thank you for being here with us this morning. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. Oh, you're so welcome. Bless your heart. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is showtime, a day we have never seen before, and we will never, ever see again the first official day of business. Let's go back to the meeting. <laughs> showtime, you always ready, man. I'll tell you. I'll tell you ready, showtime. Let's go. Let's go, baby. you here. Let's go. Can never fix so good. <laughs> The conference is now in presentation mode. Your line is muted. And it's on a mission, but I know he's getting ready to win his, his uh, Mercedes and a BMW. I'm not sure which one Showtime is going to get. But I'm telling you, Mercedes, Benz, BMW, Tesla, they're being given away every month here at TMS Network. If I'm not mistaken, I think Memo uh, may have just uh, won the Tesla. I'm not really sure. I saw something on Facebook about Memo uh, and the Tesla uh, dealership. So, Cars are just being given away like like nothing here, and it's happening so fast, and it's a great thing. It's happening in a good way because we're doing something that's really making a difference in the world, making a difference in people's health, making a difference in the wealth of things that they want to do. It's like this call. Mel and Amy came up with this call, the team effort, lifestyle call, because it's a lifestyle that you also desire. And it's a, uh, we're building a culture of fun, family, and financial freedom. And that's what we want. We want to have fun. We want to have to be with our family and enjoy them. And we want to have financial freedom to do the things that we want to do. And it's amazing when you have a product that everyone can take, a product that everyone needs. Everyone needs nutrition. We need it because of the environment, because of the pollution in the air, because of the foods that we ate, that we eat, because of... Uh, some uh, medications that some of you may still be on, 
All of that depletes you of your, your vitamins that just in your body. So we need to replace it with a supplement. And we have something that has the best delivery system, the all vitamin spray. There's a few sprays under your tongue a day, and you're, you're healthier. You have the nutrition that you need for that day, whether it's your vitamin D or your B boost, whether you need to detoxify your body with a super can. Maybe we just need to get those cells rejuvenated with our, our cellular energy. And uh, we and the Slim by 10, my goodness, well, we see the results of what Slim by 10 is doing, flattening those stomachs and burning fat and suppressing the appetite. We have a product that everyone needs. And we just have five sprays right now. There's five sprays right now. And we're going to have five more. Eventually, we're going to have five more sprays added to that. And my goodness, look at what we're doing now with just the five that we have. My goodness. What in the world is going to happen when we get the other five? I am just excited about where we are. Not only the product do we have that says I work, we have a compensation plan that says I work. And it's so easy. And you get paid right away. As soon as you go into business, as soon as you make up your mind, you're going to do this, you get paid right away. There's no holding your check. There's no making you jump through hoops and loops. It's plain and simple. You get two, one on your left, one on your right. And you're in business. You're in business. That's a lifetime membership. Once you get your left and your right, you are in business for life. And uh, who doesn't want to be a part of what we're doing? And we're providing all that you need so that your guests and your families and your friends can hear what you're doing with the 10-minute opportunity call. And that 10-minute call is doing amazing things. It's just for 10 minutes, but it's so power-packed. It's enough to get your guests excited to call you back and say, hey, what was that about? Get me in. So I'm going to stop right here. I'm going to bring on my business partner, CQ qualified one star. Tasha Joe, are you there this morning, sir? I'm here. I'm here. You know, big things do happen to big events, as we've always said. You know, people get inspired, people get charged up, and uh, people run, come, come away from these big event, events ready to run, ready to build their business, and uh, they have their teams doing and growing with them, I'm telling you. So it's uh, really, really exciting to, to see and hear what's taking place on the call. Uh, I'm telling you, it is early in California, so I'm still here. Uh, but, I gave my hat, but my hat's off to you, California, to get up early for this call, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, so we got some great stuff going on here. I got a chance to meet with a big whale yesterday and and uh, a couple of fasters yesterday. I'm going to meet with a doctor today. So, uh, yeah, we're excited about what's happening here in California and uh, get us a good little team here going with uh, Dakeisha and Terry, uh, get some synergy going. I know is doing a bit in the meeting next week. So uh, we're really excited about what's taking place here in California. We want to get California popping for uh, for NCA team. I know it's, 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 it's popping real strong for uh, – uh, for memo team here in California, but uh, you know we really didn't have a lot of traction here, so I'm here to jumpstart this thing to get this thing moving. So we're excited about what's taking place. Wow, well California, if y'all got time to go there, just use them or take advantage of them. Do TTP four day while he's there, four day. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, don't forget we're going to be in North Carolina this weekend. This Saturday. Mm. Yeah. Boy, Saturday came fast, so uh, yeah, we'll get more information. But uh, we'll be at the Holiday Inn uh, in Greensboro, North Carolina, uh, this Saturday. So anybody who has uh, folks in the, within an hour and a half to two hour diving range of uh, Greensboro, you want to get them in that meeting. We're going to do a short overview, uh, super Saturday presentation, and then we're going to spend a few hours in training and getting people caught up on the back office, caught up on building the, the building blocks of the business. We're going to have an exciting time. So you want to definitely make sure uh, that people uh, get a hold to Pat Pat Lowe and and uh, Cheryl Church and Melissa Honeybee and get more information about that. I'm, I'm, I think it's going to be posted on, if not, if it hasn't been posted already, uh, on, on one of the Facebook sites as well. Yeah, let's get the ideas. I think last week we thought it was going to be at the um – Double Tree, but it's not going to be at the Double Tree Hotel. It is going to be at the Holiday Inn. And let's get the address for that so we can get the word out. This coming Saturday, the 18th, Pastor Dell and myself will be in Greensboro, North Carolina, starting at 11 o'clock with a, a business opportunity and then team training to follow. So uh, get your guests there, but also get your team there so we can get some good training and 
while we're there. Well, uh, Coach Nakisha Bond, uh, you got past the other in California. Are you going to take advantage of them? Are you there? Hello, hello, hello. Um, you know what? I wanted to because I think he's leaving today, so I'm not going to be able to have, use it, take advantage of him for my meeting next week. Oh, well, so you should jack his plane. Just hold his plane up. Just hold it up for a I'll get him right now. <laughs> just tie him up and keep him in my just, closet. <laughs> tie him up. Just go get a suitcase, hide it, something. Hold a cab up. Do a traffic block, something. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be there in extension. He'll be there in spirit to mind. <laughs> oh. So yeah, I hear that you're going to TTP this week. Yeah, we're going to do one on Saturday at 4 p.m., um, so I'll be posting that on the pages today and putting that on winwith10.com slash calendar. And you guys know you can always go to that website, winwith10.com slash calendar, so you can promote your event because everybody has access to it and it's very easy to use. You just need to have your user ID number. That's going to be a good uh, TTP then. I suggest if you all got guests there, friends and family, get them for that TTP uh, hosted by Coach Nikisha Bond. It's going to be awesome. Well, lady, what do you have for us this beautiful Monday morning? Great. Well, today I wanted to talk about relationships, not, you know, <laughs> your personal relationships, but relationships in business, because I think one of the things that we don't realize, at least maybe I didn't realize when I first got into this business, is that this is a relationship business. And one of the things that makes network marketing really, really fun is because you get a chance to build real relationships. So in normal business, if anybody comes from a regular traditional business, you know, someone who's selling the same product as you would be seen as the competition or the enemy. But in this business, they're really your biggest supporter and ally, and that's so key in business. And that's why they're saying that you're seeing so many millionaires come out of the network marketing industry is because you now have a model where they build mentorship right into the business model. And that's huge for anyone who's new in business. Hey, let me tell you something. If being successful was easy, we'd all be rich sexy, and happy. I'm just telling you that right now. It's not easy. It's hard. It's hard when you want to change your life. It's hard when you want to go out there and do something you've never done before, like running your own business. It's hard. But the great thing about this industry is, like we said, you're in business for yourself, but you're never going to be by yourself. And they've shown that mentoring and coaching is a huge aspect in all your life. And I bet if you look around at the most successful people, about nine out of 10 of them will have a mentor that they can point to that changed their life. Whether that's a mentor that you actually know that you spend time with in real life, or maybe someone that you've met online or some of the other, you know, great mentors that are out there like Tony Robbins, and you've listened to some of those tapes and they've changed your life. And so when you have a system like we have right now, where we build it into the model. Remember, you reach to and teach to. That's huge for someone who's coming into this business for the first time. And we have to realize that as leaders, that these people are coming into our lives and that we need to build real, true relationships where we care about their success, we care about their families. We don't only care about them if they're making money, but we care about them and say, hey, you know, when we first talked, you told me you had a dream. You told me you had a vision for your life. Let me help you help that vision become true. You know, this is just a call to reach out to those people who are in your in your team who maybe haven't been as active as you thought they were going to be. Maybe one time they were on fire, but now you barely hear from them. You know, just to reach out to them and show them that you really care from a real personal standpoint, because that's what makes this business model so unique. And that's what's shown that this business model has lasted. So, you know, there's a lot of stigma around network marketing, but it's not about the business structure because it's proven that this business structure works. But sometimes it's about how people approach the business. And we've all seen them, right? We've all had an unscrupulous network marketer come into our business. We've all said someone's invited us over to their house and we thought we were just going to hang. And then all of a sudden we're in a two hour meeting and we didn't know anything about that. You know, everybody's had some of these practices. Some people teach some of these deceptive practices, but you know what? We don't have to be those people, you know, and we can make sure that we operate with integrity, we operate ethically, and most of all, we build long-lasting relationships because that's really what's going to make it fun. If you're sitting here and you're saying, well, network marketing isn't fun, I really don't enjoy any of this, you know, I don't like talking to people, it really freaks me out, it's because you're not doing it right. And when people say you're not doing it right, it's because you're not going out there with the intention to just educate people, right? To just find somebody who has a dream, who has a vision, and say, here's a vehicle to drive you over there where you want to go. 
And how powerful is that when you look at it this way? When you start thinking, I got to get people to join my team and help me reach my car bonus and help me do this, it doesn't feel good when you go out there and talk to people. But if you go out there and say, oh my gosh, these sprays are so amazing. I want to tell this to everybody that I know. I want to reach everyone in earshot and tell them about these sprays and how much better their health is going to be if they try them. And oh my gosh, that person over there, they, they you know, been telling me how broke they've been and how they've been struggling and how the 4040 plan isn't working for them. Let me tell them about this vehicle where they can go and just drive, where Melanie has made it safe for them to come back into a, a company where you only need two people to be lifetime qualified. You get the opportunity to tell that to somebody every day. So how can we build long-lasting relationships? I've been reading um, Stephen Covey, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. I'm telling you, this book, if you haven't read it, it'll really check you. I have to say that because, you know, I think we all like to think of ourselves because we're all leaders, right? We're all people who are going out there. We're all trying to get the best in life. And I can say that because, like Pastor Dale said, it's 8 o'clock in the morning. It's hard to get up for this call if you're on the West Coast. And even if you're on the East Coast, it's 11 o'clock. It's hard to take time out of your day to get on these calls, but you do it every day. And why do you do it? Because you have a dream. You have a vision for yourself. And so... um, We've been reading this book, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, and, you know, uh, there's lots of different chapters that have checked me, but this one I thought was really appropriate to what we're talking about here. It's about making deposits into your emotional bank account. So basically, you know, when we we meet with a person, we start off with a zero balance, right? It's very neutral. And then as you start to deposit things into um, that person's bank account emotionally, so fondness, trust, confidence, it all starts to grow as a result as, as a result, our relationship grows. And so if you keep depositing into someone's life, you know, keep filling them up, keep being there for them, keep motivating them, you know, you're going to have a positive reserve in the relationship. And so then you're going to have a greater tolerance for mistakes and you'll enjoy open communication. On the contrary, when we make withdrawals and our balance becomes low or even overdrawn, bitterness, mistrust, discord develops. And so I say this sometimes, you know, I've seen a lot of people who go from company to company to company to company. You know, a lot of times, and this is Nikisha Bond's personal opinion, okay, so you guys don't have to write this down. This is just my personal opinion. A lot of times when we do that, we rob people of the opportunity of staying in a place, growing, working together, developing that synergy so you can really grow your business to the next level. Of course, you can make money the first time you go in because everything that's really exciting, right? It's new, it's a new opportunity, new, new, boom, 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 boom. But you can also do that same synergy by going to an event. You can also get that same synergy by going to a TTP or by having a high energy meeting where you guys sit together as a team and you develop goals and, and you go out there and you aggressively go out there and get them. So anyways, my point is, is that as you develop relationships with people in your team, you want to make sure that you're making positive deposits into your life. Are you always just calling them saying, hey, you know, you're supposed to do this, you didn't do this, you know, what about this, and what about that, and hey, your number, you know, are you doing that? Are you calling them and saying, how are things going? How's your family? How are your kids? Great. What did, what did you do last weekend? What's this? How's the business going? What can I do to help you? How can I serve you? You know, it's all in the way that you approach people that's going to help you to build those long-lasting relationships. Number two, we want to operate ethically and with integrity. You know, these words sometimes I think are lost in some of the generation of people, but they're really very important. And integrity simply means is that what you say and what you do line up with each other. Very, very simple. If I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this. And say I'm going to have a TTP, I'm going to have a TTP. I say I'm going to be there for, I'm going to be there for. You know, that's all integrity is. And then operating ethically is that we don't want to overpromise. You know, Pastor Dale sent me a great article that um, I think it was the FDA was kind of looking at network marketing companies because people were um, over-promising what they were going to deliver. I heard somebody muting out. Is that right? Was it the FDA, Pastor Dale? I think it was. I think it might be the FDA where they were saying. Yeah, it was the FDA. Okay, thank you, Pastor Dale. Um, that they were coming after network marketing companies for over promising. We have to remember that we don't cure anything, and everything that we tell you here on the line is what we hear from other people and their results and the things that they're getting. And we have to make sure that we make that distinction when we're out there talking to people that we don't say vitamin D will cure cancer. You know, they have a lot of studies, they have a lot of backing, but our job is more to educate than to make that verbal statement that a cure is cancer. You say, look at this study, look at that study, look at that study, look at that study, look at this person, look at this person. My conclusion is that it cures cancer. I'm not making any medical claims, but that's my conclusion when I look at all this. 
And with stuff like we don't steal distributors, you know, one of the things that we always pride ourselves on is that no matter where you are, you can look at the calendar, winwith10.com slash calendar. You can go to any TTP. You can send your guests to any TTP. Somebody's going to go there, feed them, educate them, and send them back to you for you to close them. We never, 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 never say, oh, well, you're here. You should join our team because we're close, and that person who invited you is not here. They won't be there. We'll be there. We don't do that. We always send them back where they came from. In fact, we don't, you know, have people come in and say, who invited you? No, let's just come in. We just show support and love, and we send them back so that they can get closed. The only people that you close at a TTP meeting are the guests that you brought. And so those are the things that we can do to help us build those kind of relationships and to help build the culture that we're here. You know, one of the things that I love about Mel and Amy is that it wasn't just about you know, having a great product and a great compensation plan and everybody go out there and just make as much money as you can or go. No, it was really about how do we build a culture of family? How do we go build a culture of team? How do we make this really a team effort, a network of people all working together towards a common goal, helping each other, lifting each other up, picking each other up. And that's huge to be a part of because I'm telling you something, guys, you can go out there and you can find another company that's got a comparable compensation plan. You can find another company that's got comparable products, but it's really hard to find a company that's operating ethically with integrity and that is building a culture of just love, respect, and trust. So, you know, I I never put that down. That's always such a huge thing. And that's something that you should be telling your prospects, too. This is a place where they can come and feel safe. And that's huge, especially for someone who's bounced around in network marketing. Finding a place that they can call home and they can feel safe is going to be really huge for them. Don't miss that aspect of it. Number three, we expose and don't impose. You know, I'm always saying this. Our job is to educate people. We're not salesmen. I don't want you guys to go out there. And that's what, when people ask you, well, I don't want to sell. I don't want you to sell either. I mean, we're all selling, okay? Everybody knows that we're all selling. You're selling yourself every single day. You sell yourself if you want to get a job. You sell yourself if you want to get a date. You're always selling ourselves. But we're not salesmen in the sense that I'm only telling you this because of how it benefits me. No, we're educators of these products of oral absorption, of the ingredients, of the results, of the opportunity, of the of the possibility of what their life can be. You know, a lot of people, and, and I love this when you talk to a lot of um, network marketers who have been in the industry for a really long time, they don't talk about the product. They don't talk about the compensation plan. They talk about the vision, the vision of what your life can be, the vision of what the possibility is if you try this and you work really hard at it. And I always love that because sometimes, you know, I'm a very technical person. I'm, yeah, I'm color red. You know, we talked about this, but I'm also a little bit of green too because I like to get into the nitty gritty of stuff and I like to break things down. And here's your 10 steps of success and here's your five ways to avoid this. You know, I'm definitely one of those type of people. So I love listening to visionaries. That's what you hear when you listen to um, Mel when he comes out there. He's like, I'm not going to talk about that. I'm just going to let you hear my heart because those are the people who really inspire us to take action. And that's what our job is. We're it's inspirational leaders, we're educators, we're going out there and we're just telling people, you know what, if you're struggling and you're having a hard time every single day, if you're living paycheck to paycheck, if you're sick and you're broke and disgusted, here's a better way. Let me tell you how. Let me tell you what you can do. Let me tell you how you can be a part of this. That's so powerful to come from that type of an aspect and say, I have these sprays and you should try them and they're $25 and you for 30 days. So, you know, just give people that vision, educate them because a lot of people just don't know. A lot of people just don't know that there's a better way, and they've never had anybody with true interest and true heart explain it to them in a way that they could be open enough to receive it. And that's what I mean when I'm saying build good relationships, because when you come from that type of a servant's attitude, a servant's heart, people are so much more open to receive the information that you're giving them. And the last thing we do, and I know I say this, you know, sometimes I'm looking at some of these trainings that I do, and I feel like I'm saying the same thing over and over again. I'm just flipping it different ways. But there was really not too much to the business. That's why people say it's very, very simple. It's the same thing over and over again. But, you know, you want to sponsor and don't recruit. You know, the best thing you can do for a new distributor is help them to make money. That's the best thing you can do. You know why? Because when people come in here, they love the sprays. They've probably already been using the sprays, but they want to make money. They want to do something that's going to change their life. They want to see that it works. And so as a leader, you're the best thing you can do for a new distributor, not go through the compensation plan. Not, you know, yes, of course you want to do these things, but I'm just telling you the best thing you can do. If, if I pick out one thing that you could do that would be the best use of your time would be to help your new distributors make money because that breeds on itself. Because if you help them to make money, well, 
You're going to help somebody else make money. You're going to help somebody else make money. You're going to help somebody else make money. You're going to have lower attrition. That means the people are going to stay in their business longer. They're going to stay on their auto ship longer. They're going to spread the word more. So that is probably the best thing you can do for a new distributor. You know, if you're spending a lot of time getting into the technicalities of the compensation plan and all the technicalities of the ingredients, but you're not helping your team make money, you're going to see it's going to be harder to grow and get that synergy and get that energy. And I remember that was probably one of the things that I heard Memo say very early on in this business. Is he's like, I just want to help people make money. You know, tell people about the vision. You know, help them come in and help them make money right away. That's the best thing that you can do. So, you know, and when you do that, of course, that's going to build a very long-lasting relationship because people are going to see that you really care, that you took their why personally, and their why became your why. You know, someone saying, I want to, quit my job in 16 or 18 months, you can say, great, let's, let's see what we need to do to help you to quit your job in 18 months. And I really care about you quitting your job as much as I would care about me quitting my job because the more successful you are, the more successful I am. And that's why this business works so great is because someone else's success is just as important to you as it is to them. And so the best thing that you can do is work on your relationship building, work on caring people, working on caring about people, work on being a servant and having a servant's heart and really looking at this business as an opportunity for someone that maybe they're sitting out there praying about, that maybe they're struggling with, that they've been working, you know, for as many years and many hours and they still just live paycheck to paycheck. I mean, I was talking to my team, and I'll close with this. I was talking to my team the other day, and I said, you never know who you're walking by who might be on their last $5, who might be overdrawn in their bank account, who might not know how they're going to feed their kids tonight. You don't know because they might be looking nice. They might have a nice car. They might be doing all the things that look like they got it all together. But I have found more often than not, those are the people who are struggling the most. I'm not saying they all are. I'm just giving you my personal opinion that you just don't know who you walk by. And you don't know who you walk by who's just sitting around just praying and praying and praying that someone will come and educate them. Someone will come and coach them, mentor them, help them in this business, help them to succeed, help them to reach their goals. You don't know who that person is. And so that's why we have to go out there and expose it to as many people as we can because we just don't know who that person is who's going to come back to you five years later and say, you changed my life. Thank you so much for changing my life. Thank you so much for telling me about this. Because if it wasn't for you, I would have never known. And I'd still be in that hot mess situation. So go out there, share the vision with people, build long-lasting relationships, and make this business fun. It's supposed to be fun. So go out there and have fun. Back to you, Pastor Dale and Pastor Denise. That's right, Nikki Siobhan. Go out there and have fun. Now, Gil says if you're not having fun, then you're not doing something right. And it is fun. When you've got good news to share with people, it's you got something you can give them that's going to help them with something they're dealing with and also put some extra money in their pocket. Hey, that's good news. I, I, I can't, you can't help but share that. Uh, Nikisha, thank you so much for bringing us that uh, for today and getting our week started. And uh, with a good attitude, you know, I think I sent out a text this morning that had to do something with attitude. You know, good, you know, success is nothing but an attitude, but it's a good attitude. So if you want to have good success, you have to have a good attitude. If you want bad success, then have a bad attitude. And that's what you're going to have. But this is great. Thank you so much for bringing it with us. Pastor to tell you anything for Coach Nakisha Bond before we close for today. Well, you know, uh, Mel Gill always says, if you're not having fun, you're not building this business correctly. So absolutely have fun building this business. You know, enjoy yourself. Uh, I tell you, we're having fun. You know, everywhere we go, we're having fun talking about this company, talking about this product, and uh, talking to people. You know, talking to people about their lives, talking to people about, you know, how to become better, uh, healthier. Uh, these are the kind of things that inspire you to want to do things. And if you're not having fun, if, you, if this has become, you know, a stressful uh, opportunity for you where you just feel like you're under pressure and, and you can't get anything done, uh, you may need to take a couple steps back, talk to your sponsor, talk to some leaders and say, what am I doing wrong? Because this is not fun anymore because the people who are really having fun in this business are growing their business and their business is blowing up. So have fun, do this business, and build it right. Thanks, Nikisha. Great job as always. Well, family, you got some good tools to put in your toolbox. Put them in there and go out there and have fun. Let's go out to the U.K. with Anita Poole to bring us our quote for today. Miss Anita Poole, are you there? Yes, I'm here. How are you, Denise and Dale and Nikisha? Okay? 
Dr. Pluck, you, I'm, I can't, I keep want to say Dr. Nina Poole. I don't remember until after I hear you start talking. I go, wow, boy, she's really good. But Dr. Poole, we are doing great here. Thanks for going wonderful. It's good to have you here with us this morning. Well, happy holiday for you today. And uh, actually, in our papers, guess what? Top three cars are the top three cars that we have in our pipeline. There was actually an article I heard you talking about the Tesla at the beginning, uh, talking about, you know, what are the most eco-friendly cars? And the top three executive cars, no executives, and, the, you know, that's what we all allow. We are executives and distributors of our company working our way up. The top three was Tesla Model S85, BMW 520 SE Auto, and the Mercedes-Benz S500. We have a chance to get the top three most eco-friendly cars. Can you imagine that? And then on top of that, we can help people get eco-friendly with their health as well and eco-friendly with their wealth because what we have in our hands here does an awful lot of good. So it's all about, you know, just changing our way of thinking. If we're not getting the results that we want, just change the way of thinking. And as Anthony Robbins said, just change one little aspect, a tiny little bit, and you can often achieve great results. If you're already getting great results, keep doing what you're doing. But, you know, they say in life, folks, you can't reach the stars if you're still holding on to the railing. It's all about getting out of the comfort zone and moving forward. Katrina Rando said, Creating who you want to be is like painting a mural. It is never truly finished, and it can be worked endlessly. Just like Makisha was saying, you know, personally develop constantly each day. She goes on to say, Rando, Katrina Rando goes on to say, as the painters of our own lives, most of us do not spend enough time trying new themes, new colors, new textures. We carry on with the same subjects, the same brushes, the same strokes, the same palettes. And over time, our self-perception limits our own thinking, our own actions, and our own life. It's only by going beyond our current thinking, our current actions, can we go beyond ourselves and grab what it is we want and who we want to be. And that, that's exactly it. You know, we are painting our own personal mural and we're painting the mural of TEN around the globe. So it's very, very exciting times, folks. You know, like Mel always says, look in the mirror. You're either achieving the results or not achieving the results from what you see in the mirror. It's all about the self, basically. So Henry Weecher said... Every charitable act is a stepping stone toward heaven. And the reason why I mention that is because going out there and speaking to people, you are actually doing a charitable act because you're not sharing something that, um, you know, the world can do without, put it that way. Does it matter whether there's TEN sprays in the world? Yes, it does. These are absolutely phenomenal products, all natural products, and can actually change people's health, they can change people's wealth, and they can change people's lifestyle. So do you have something in your hands that is a good idea to share? Absolutely. So you are actually doing people a favor by sharing the products and sharing the opportunity. So literally go out there with confidence and share, share, share. At the weekend, I was actually, uh, we have our local Cheltenham Literature Festival. It's a world-renowned festival, and it was right on my doorstep. I went to some really, really interesting uh, debates and lectures by some profoundly able people, experts in their field, the future of health, the future of society, what does the next century hold? What is the prognosis for our healthcare system? How do we communicate? What makes people successful? The rich list debate, environmental debates. And do you know, every single debate 
had an implication regarding the TEN products and the TEN pay plan. And it was one of the solutions to an awful lot of things that I was hearing. There is no doubt that the healthcare system around the world is in big trouble, folks. There is no doubt that we need new ways of thinking, new ways of looking at things, new ways of taking natural products to help solve some of the problems around the world. And that's exactly what we have in our hands here. So, Laird Sue said, what is well planted will not be torn up. What is well kept will never escape. So, keep your products and your pay plan Keep it going long, long, long into generations, but also plant it with everyone else. And your garden will grow to a huge forest. The thing is, it won't just be any old forest. It will be one of the most beautiful forests in the world. Back to you, Denise. Wow, wow. Thank you, Dr. Poole, for those words and for this uh quote for today. Family, I know that you have heard something today that has moved you from facts to faith to action. This is a holiday for some of you. Some of you have taken off. Some of you have gone in. But wherever you are, go out and share what's happening here in 10. And please don't forget to take advantage of the um, uh, executive sound of promotion that is on the table. And that's simply get yourself two new business partners on the diamond package, place them on the left and place them on the right. Help those two new Diamond Package members become executives and you win $1,000 and also the privilege to walk across the stage and get the title of Executive Founding Member on Las Vegas as we celebrate our one-year anniversary. That must will be here before you realize it. It's moving fast. So set your goals right now. Where do you want to be when you walk across the stage in Las Vegas at our one-year birthday celebration? Now, Gil and Amy said they're going all the way out for that celebration. I don't know if you know what that means, coming from Melanie Gill, but if you don't, you will. So plan to be there uh, in February, and we will do our best to get an exact date uh, when, when that's going to be, because I know some of you want to go ahead and book your airfare, so we'll work on getting the date of that event so you can uh, book your airfare and uh, be in position to be in Las Vegas in February. Well, join Pastor Donald Joseph tonight right here on the call and learn more about Team at the Network here and more great things that's taking place in California. That call would be tonight, 8 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Do not forget to um, uh, to uh, listen in to the 10 opportunity call that would take place at 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock noon today, at 3 o'clock, at 6 o'clock, and at 9 o'clock. And also the Spanish call will start at 9, 10 Pacific this morning, and that's also 12, 10 Pacific. Eastern Standard Time right here, same number. Get your Spanish-speaking guests and friends on the call, 9, 10 a.m. Pacific, 12, 10 uh, Eastern Standard Time, so they also can join and listen and hear what's going on at Team of the Network and how the family is going so, so big. Thank you all for being here today. Nikisha Bond, thank you. Pastor Dale, you have anything to say before we close out? No, sir. No, man. Yeah, exactly. You guys have a great call. Okay. One thing I want to mention, Sonny, right quickly. We have a lot of new members coming in. Please, 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 please do not forget to register with Paylution. You're going to receive an invitation from Paylution. That is how we get paid directly. Do not delete that email, but register. Get together with your upline and make sure they help you to register for Paylution because when you get paid, it's going to come through that. And get that taken care of as many of you are doing great, and we want to make sure that that's already set in place. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being today. Be back again tomorrow morning, 8 o'clock a.m. Pacific, 7 o'clock a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I know this, you are loved, and you are greatly appreciated. God bless you all. Have a blessed day on purpose. Mwah.